What's up guys, Jake here. I'm at the Molex booth here at ICAST 2023. I'm here with Carl Jacobson, the, the Aussie angler. This guy's awesome. We got a bunch of really cool baits here for you today. I mean, we got, you know, glide baits and lipless cranks and, you know, all the stuff I haven't seen yet. So we're pretty excited to show it off. So Carl, I mean, first thing we got, we've got a new glide bait. Why don't you yep. tell us a little bit about this guy? So, you know, everyone knows that I designed the original 178. Yeah. And um, that's obviously, this is the size here. Um, it's one of my, it's by far my favorite glide bait i've caught fish over 10 pounds tons of nine pounders i've used it in elite series tournaments mm -hmm. and basically we've taken that exact design i think i believe it's got the best erratic chopping action that's what makes those fish bite it mm -hmm. and now we've got it in a 130 size so which is awesome for a lot of guys a lot of guys are just looking to catch bass or just get started into glide bait fishing yeah and without going too big and having to target those big fish you sort of got a more realistic size with the same action so yeah you're gonna get more bites is this playing a little bit bigger role maybe in your tournament scene you know out there on the tournament trail a little bit smaller maybe to help you get a few extra bites yeah it's just gonna work everywhere like if you look at that thing like there's not a bass alive that's not gonna eat that it's oh, the totally. prime thread fin shad style color it's so realistic and then it has that exact chopping action we got it in floating and sinking so it's great you can get that slow wake um, in that cooler sort of water when they want to come up for it and then you know i like the slow sink getting it down and then making that erratic chop and there's basically not a bass alive that can resist it and the details on the outside of this bait, I mean, uh, I just noticed when I was holding here, talking to you, I mean, it even has, you know, some soft fins molded into the side, I mean, gills, the scales you got on there. It's a highly realistic bait. And I believe these come in at a really good price point as well. Yep, that's what I tell, you know, I love I love the handcrafted design glides. They're great. But everyone does. Everyone does, but yeah. they're super expensive and like, for me, I like throwing glides around heavy cover. I skip glides under docks. I throw them into laydowns, you know, get them around structure. That's a, like a big key when you're in the south here too, to do that. And so these fins are, are this kind of bendable, they're, they're tough, you know, so um, you can really sort of beat them up a little yeah. bit, get them around the structure and then pick your realistic colors. I mean, we got beautiful bluegill colors, thread fin colors, we got whites, we got chromes. I mean, they've matched the hatch with yeah. every single color. So wherever you live in the country, Mollex has a glide that's gonna suit what bait fish that are in your lake, wherever you're at. That, that's awesome. And I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you've broken a few of those big <laughs> custom glides and that really hurts the pocketbook when that happens. So it's nice that you're getting, I mean, you're getting a super high quality bait uh, you know, all the way around for a phenomenal price point and a smaller size. Uh, what kind of like rod reel setup are you throwing this on with a smaller size? You don't need that big heavy yeah. duty swim bait rod and 25 pound for this. Yeah, it's definitely not a bait you want to go with your big serious glide bait setup. So 16 pound fluorocarbon is the, the most you want to throw on a light. You know, even going to 14 and sometimes 12, you've got to have your lighter hooks on it. The lighter the line you go with, it's a little bit more finesse you know you want to get that action with the lighter line but 16 pounds straight through put a lighter lighter clip on the front with a small swivel and then you'll be set up ready to go awesome. and then i actually adjust the depth by changing my trebles these are great nice sticky trebles mm -hmm. if you want it to float up a little bit more you can go lighter if you want it to sink a little slower just put a heavier treble on it and it'll do the perfect job really cool and just a great bait for everyone if you're looking into getting into glide bait fishing this is definitely a great place to start. If you want more information, you want to pre-order these, head over to tacklehouse.com. Next up, we got another big bait that Carl himself has designed. So kind of a variation of your glide bait that you've already had out. We got this new, uh, this new lip version, looks like. So the crank down versions are actually becoming super popular. And so we oh, saw, yeah. Yeah, like it's, it's sort of taken over a little bit and it's just a more versatile bait that you can really um, do a lot with, um, but the lip, seems to be better around structure. Guys are really liking to crank it into the top of a, a brush pile, crank it around the ends of lay downs. And a lot of people just, they don't know how to work a glide bait or they're working up into it. This is a lot easier. You just need to wind it's it. It's a chuck and wind bait yeah. and it throws a really big wake out the back of it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, I, I don't know how many of these style of baits we've gotten at Tackle Warehouse in the last yeah. couple of years, but they've definitely come on really strong. 
So the big thing is like basically it's all about speed. The slower you wind and the higher you keep your rod tip, the more it's going to wake across that top and then you can drop your rod tip and crank it faster and now it's going to dive and start to hit into that structure. And that's kind of what makes it so unique. You can really, it's versatile. You can, it's a top water bait, it's a wake bait and then it's also a crank bait as well. So, and then it gets those big bites because it's such a big bodied lure um, getting down around those like big aggressive fish. Yeah, just mimicking those bigger, those bigger forage, big gizzard shads and stuff like that. I mean, this bait, I mean, it's got the heavy duty hardware on it. It's built for catching the, big fish. The but hooks like are great. Yeah, like what you're saying, you know, that bigger profile just gonna draw those bigger strikes and add into the versatility of your glide bait that you already have. Yep. Just, I've, I've fished it on fluorocarbon when I want to get it down deep, but you can actually fish this on straight braid when you want to fish it up high and just waking it across the top. When they're on beds and they're around bluegill, the, either the bass are on beds or just after when the bluegill start bedding, this thing, this colour just absolutely gets hammered. It's one of the best bluegill colours I've seen. And this year at Murray, I was throwing this exact colour mm -hmm. in the straight glide and they could not stand it getting anywhere near them. Yeah. Is this is there like a time of the year when you when this one kind of plays a little bit more over your glide? Yeah, they want to be a little bit more aggressive, but like it's going to go right through because when right before they eat a glide, they're going to eat this, waking it slow across yeah. the top. And then as they get into that sort of spawning mode, I tend to go to the glide, get it mm -hmm. down closer to them. And then once they move off the bed and they start to feed, now it comes back into play again, but yeah. cranking it down and starting to get it around the and structure. speeding it up a little bit faster. And, and you can burn there. and kill it. You can stop it. You can wind it fast. You can dead slow roll it. And again, you can adjust the depth that you want it at um, by your hooks. I really like doing that you can put your weights on them and things um, but I just like upgrading the hooks to wherever mm -hmm. I want it to sort of get to um, in the water but it comes with big strong nice hooks yeah. I still like to use a snap and a swivel on the front you get the best action out of that um, but out of the pack they're pretty much ready to roll how deep are you when you're cranking this thing down how deep are you getting that that, that bait to run it's, it's still pretty shallow you can only get it deep when you speed it up but it's like yeah. four or five feet um, you know, at a max, a bait, like, this big yeah, on a and getting bait. it down, it's it's for big fish, and um, getting a big bait down around those bigger fish is what's key, and you know, it's been a key of mine through the Elite Series is just throwing a bigger bait and getting those bigger bites. Yeah, we've all been watching you for over the years. You're always known for throwing those bigger baits and just trying to catch those bigger caliber fish, and then, you know, once you start doing it, it's hard to stop throwing them. It's it addictive. Is, it is very addictive uh, style way of fishing. So there you have it, folks. Uh, you know, another, uh, uh, you know, another tool to add to your swim bait arsenal. If you're looking for something you need to crank it down, just something a little bit different than your traditional glide, make sure to check these out at tackwarehouse.com. Well, hey, we're back in the Molex booth. I lost the Aussie guy. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? And look, we got Mike Iaconelli ah. back. Back for another interview. Uh, and today we're gonna talk about a uh, new spinnerbait. Yes. One that you designed. Yes. I'm super excited. Yes. Spinnerbait dork. Yes. And I know these are available. You can buy them now at Tackle Warehouse. Yes. But I didn't even get to see them. I saw them come through the computer and I saw that giant list of baits. And I was like, what the heck has he got brewing up? Lots of colors. Yeah. Lots of blade combinations. This is a good one. All right, guys. So, so what do we got? Let me tell you a name first and then I'll tell you a lot about the bait. Okay. Muscle Amp. And the, the real meaning of that is small but strong, right? Yes. Small but strong. And spinnerbait fishing's really coming back. You know, for a while, spinnerbaits kind of went away. Everything was chatterbaits, but- Vibrating jigs. I mean, the spinnerbait was gone for a few years. But still just as, as effective as they were back in the yes. day. But this is a cool bait because it's loaded with features. Uh, let's start with the blades and the wire. If you look at this wire, it's got a unique modified U shape. Yeah. And we worked on this shape with Mullox for a long time, and that shape is based to give the maximum amount of flash and the maximum amount of vibration. So, you know, that's the two things with spinnerbait, flash and vibration mixed together. So that U shape is a specialized shape for maximum flash, maximum vibration. Very, very cool. And it's strong, like you're saying. You can feel this this frame on here. This is not a wimpy frame. It's not. So what, what we had to do with the muscle ant is go through a lot of materials, and they came up with a unique material for the wire that adds strength but allows all that vibration. Because with a small, compact spinnerbait, a lot of them out there, 
Dude, they break two or three fish. Yeah, and they bend out. You can't tune them back this into place. This one's going to last and last and last. All right, the next thing on this, you got to check this out. Look at that head, okay? So we have a realistic head design, and it's weight forward. If you look at it, a lot of the weight is in the front, and that's going to help this bait cast in the wind, Oh yeah. and it's going to help keep it balanced. Mm -hmm. But the magic of this, and this was a must for me with this bait, is a flat style head on the bottom. And the muscle ant has a rock side to side, mm -hmm. and that's a real trigger. So a lot of spinnerbaits, you throw them out, they, they come in straight as an arrow, but the muscle ant has a little left to right, and that's that water catching on the bottom of that flat head and activating the bait. Which is, it it's huge. That secondary action is always important. Anytime you can get any secondary movement just to add to the, to the main part of the action is, is great. So important. Uh, a lot of great colors custom hand-tied skirts. Guys, if you're fishing a spinnerbait that's not hand-tied, that's not tied, that skirt's I, falling down constantly. 100%. It's a pain in the butt. That's the first thing I noticed, and Mullets has always been good about hand-tying the skirts. Yes. I, I don't even buy a spinnerbait unless they, they we're tying the skirt on there. Yes. Uh, and we've got a 360-degree keeper on it, so for the guys that love the split tails or the double-tail grub yeah. on the back or a single-tail grub, that's going to hold it on there really It's going nice. to hold it on there really great. So amazing compact spinnerbait some great colors uh it's definitely it's going to be in my boat all the time and and like you said the, the skew count alone with whatever blade combination you want you want double double, colors, Indiana, double, double willow. willow silvers golds and we really, multiple sizes multiple sizes yeah. we've got three eights we've got half ounce and i really went through these colors we've got three or four new ones in the lineup uh river perch parish chartreuse uh mouse a lot of great new colors so if you're a spinnerbait fan and you want something small but strong, yes, this is it. It's the muscle ant. Yeah, and you can buy it right now at TackleWarehouse.com. All right, next up, we got a super interesting worm from Mullix. This is the Sneaky Worm, right? Sneaky Worm 5-inch. All right, so why don't you give us a little rundown on this one, Paula? Oh, uh, this is a, uh, the idea come from a, a small, thinny uh, stick bait. Yeah. Uh, we decided to put a couple of um, uh, shot tail worm. Uh, this to make a little more noise, a little bit more noise, or more, yeah. you know, give a little bit more action in the water. Oh yeah, totally. The, more what is, vibration on yeah, it. Yeah, more vibration. What is good is that if you want to use like a stick bait, you can cut both of the tails. Or oh, cut so you one. Cut it in half. It, yeah. And then you put it on like a jig head or something. Oh yeah, you can use it in a jig head, or you can yeah. use it with one, just one uh, uh, shot tail, or cut both, okay. and use like a stick bait. Okay. It's quite versatile. And then you're, uh, are you wacky rigging this one? You can wacky rig. You yeah. get a lot of action on it. Yes, a lot of action, and it's a five inch uh, plastic. is a scented, so attract, uh, you know, a scent attract uh, for yeah. more fish, you know. And how many colors you guys got? We have uh, eight different colors um, for the first shot, All and right. then we will add more color in the next year. All right, and uh, just the one size of five inch? It's one size five inch. We are thinking to do another couple of more sizes, but for now, one size. All right, well, if you want to check this out, make sure to head over to tacklewarehouse.com and make sure to pre-order it. Okay, next up for Molex, we got a new, I guess you'd call this a hybrid bait. Uh, yeah. yeah, when I picked it up off the table, I was not expecting it. You know, I, I didn't track the Molex stuff this year, so this is all new to me. And uh, so we have this new soft vibe bait. Why don't you give us a little, tell us a little bit about this bait, Paolo. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the one of the vibration uh, or soft vibration, uh, yeah. not soft vibration, but vibration lure is uh, one of the most popular lure in the United States. So yeah. Our idea is to try to do something different and make it soft. Yeah. So uh, this is a small uh, two and a half inch uh, bait, uh -huh. uh, half ounce uh, weight. And uh, what is uh, cool is the small uh, piece of metal, are you okay? A small uh -huh. bait. Yeah. And the small bait helps when it vibrate so you get a little water, flash out of that? Yeah, it creates a lot of flashes. So. And it's bent, so th that just trigger, uh, produces a little bit more vibration yeah, on the space sure, as well? Yeah, sure. Yeah, and so is this made out of like a TPE material? Yeah, it's TPE. TPE, so it's, it's super uh, tough. Yeah, super tough and resistant. Yeah, I mean, it looks just like a hard, regular old lipless crankbait, and you pick yeah. this thing up and it's soft, so it's going to be silent. Um, yeah. Is a little softer vibration than you would get with a normal hard bait? Uh, 
Yeah, sorry. You know, I'm Italian. I'm an Italian, so English is So it's not going to be as aggressive as a hard bait then? Okay, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the one hook on there? Yeah, the idea in the future is to put a rattle inside, so you can use both. It'll be two uh, different styles. Silent, yeah, silent and yeah. rattle. And you got all that, uh, I see there's like a kind of a flat spot on there. Does it sit, you know, kind of yes. nose down on, yeah, on the bottom? Sure, sure. That's really cool. I mean, something totally unique, totally different. Uh, you know, different than any lipless crankbait that's in my box for sure. Excited to try one of these out. If you want more information, make sure to head over to TackleWarehouse.com.